this video, we're going to discuss the Playster themes. Now, again, uh, there might be some variances. I expect there to be actually. Uh, the, the website that I'm using, the, the Playster website that I've been given through our brokerage at Keller Williams has particular themes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through the themes that those of us at Keller Williams have been uh, given access to and um, as part of the setup to show you that they're even there because uh, my experience so far, agents aren't even realizing that there's theme options in their Playster account. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to find those themes and how to test them and play with them on your website and, um, and what you need to know about them, okay? So right now I am in the back end of my Playster site, so obviously mine is already set up. When you're first going through the setup, you're gonna have an option to choose your colors, and above that, there's actually gonna be an option to choose your theme, which I'll show you now. Uh, after the fact, you can still go back and change your theme. It's actually super easy. It's a click of a button, and you can play with it from there. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go over to our site settings, and we're gonna go down here to theme selection, okay? Now, there again, I'm gonna tell you things I like and things I don't like. My company at Ballon Brands does build uh, special real estate websites. We call them brews, Ballon real estate websites. And we encourage you to own your own website, obviously, that you have complete control over. And we're happy to build those out for you. We also understand that many people are going to use the Playster websites, and that's fine too. And we, we want to be able to help you with those too. So I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like as we go through uh, the process. And of course, I think Playster is a great company, and I think they're going to have many, many features roll out. Um, and there are some things that you can upgrade your website to, have, to access as well. So the first thing you're going to notice here is colors. And this is where everybody tends to go. And you can see here, as I click each color box, the, uh, the theme is changing color. So the first thing that you're going to go ahead and do is pick your color. Um, I've said this before, I wish there was a nice clean black in there or um, a couple other combinations, but we'll work with what we have here. Just because you're with a certain brokerage doesn't mean that's what your colors need to be for your website unless that's somewhere in your requirements. So, you know, look at your logo, look at your feel, your, your, the flavor of your company, your branding, and make sure that you're, you're staying in line with your own branding, okay? Now, right up top here, what you need to know is this little slideshow is actually more themes. And in our account, we happen to have eight of them. So this one is called Plymouth. And I'll go ahead and change mine so that we can take a look at what they look like. So let me go ahead and just, uh, I'll stick with the red now, just so that for those of you that are, that are liking the red that are with Keller Williams, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and refresh my Playster site and we'll take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Plymouth theme. Now I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like. I personally would, I don't, this is my favorite theme. However, here's what I really don't like. This here is a waste of good real estate space. Um, that this is a slideshow. And if you wanted to, you could have pictures rotating um, up here. And most real estate agents are going to adopt this because they think it's pretty. However, to me, it's ineffective for the consumer. I'm all about the, I, I'm a massive lead generator online and I believe in giving the user what they want as soon as they can get to it without having to click or scroll too many times. And this is wasted space. What I would rather see is this search widget here should be an, uh, right on top of this picture. You want the search, you want the call to action to be above the fold. So as soon as we have to scroll, we are now below the fold, okay? And also on a mobile device, this actually looks much better on mobile. I like it much, much better on mobile. However, you still have to scroll, but see how that widget is right there now, and then you have your properties. So to me, if I were making a wish list, I really, really like this theme a lot. However, I wanna see that, um, that search widget right here. And personally, I would really like to see a search widget and then a call to action to find out what their house is worth. A little button that says home value, home evaluation, instant home evaluation, something like that. Because clearly, buyers and sellers, we know that our blog is really designed to, you know, rank on the search engines, to share on social networks, to bring them into our website, and then they're going to do what they really want, which is look at properties or try to find out what their house is worth. That's typically what people are doing when they're when they're on a real estate website. 
And so we want to give them what they want as quickly as we, as we possibly can, right? I like the, the headers nice and clean. Um, and then we have a search widget here, which on another a video in this series, I will explain how to change these search widgets because there's options here as well. So this is this theme. Now, when you choose a theme, it changes more than just that header and the colors and stuff. It actually changes multiple things. So it changes how your blogs lay out, how that homepage lays out. Um, and so if we go over now and we click on neighborhoods, so this will be our neighborhood page. You can see here how the neighborhood pages look. Once you set those up, these are all um, after you set them up. And then the blog, these are the three major portions with your theme that you're gonna see change. Besides, uh, besides your colors, the theme's actually gonna change how those blogs lay out, how the neighborhoods uh, lay out. And then once you click through to your blog, make sure you check if you like that on the theme as well, how it lays out, okay? So this is Plymouth. The next one we'll go ahead and do is Fremont, right? We'll stick with the same colors for now. We'll click save and I will go ahead and do a refresh here and we will look at what it looks like with Plymouth, okay? Um, by the way, my computer needs, um, I have to update the, the newest operating system. And so my Chrome website is not pulling all the graphics. Um, the Placer site, I, I had this up before. It actually, this theme is pretty cool. It has this really cool drop down ribbon and it has this big starburst on the side that says sign up now. That is my favorite thing about the theme. But right now we're not seeing it on on my theme. It's I need to I need to do my upgrade here so I can get uh, update so I can get that back. Um, anyway, this is this is a theme I really really like a lot. I like the way the blog lays out. Um, let me go back to the home page here. Oh, there's our ribbon. The ribbon showed up this time. I really like the ribbon. I like the big starburst that's supposed to be right here, and maybe it'll show up while we're on here. Um, I like that the search widget is above the fold. I'm not having to scroll to get to that search widget. This is a call to action in itself with a phone number and, and information. So, so I like the way this looks um, functionality-wise. I think this is a really cool functioning. I don't, I'm not crazy about the way the menu works. So if your menu gets too lengthy it's all going to show up right here and that'll that's you know it, it starts looking a little cluttered so i think if we're going to use this theme you got to keep it to like five menu items um one two three four five and get rid of this line right here that's probably what i would do here in fact that's probably what i will do after we i get off this call because i think this is my favorite theme okay then let's take a look at what it looks like with the neighborhoods okay not crazy about this. I don't like the way it handles the bottom. Um, and then we have our um, blog layout. Okay. And then um, we can look at it here, how it would look on mobile. Let's go back to the home page. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's your home page. You've got your little banner or your your graphics. Your little if that's a slideshow, you'll have your little slideshow there, um, and then you'll go right into your properties and such. This I don't like. I don't like that. I'm not sure why it makes it that dark color like that. It washes out the text, but I like the other things on the page. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So this is Fremont. Next one we have here is Franklin. Let's go ahead and stick with the red. Let's save that. Do a refresh here. Okay. Here's what I like about this theme. Again, it's, it's a nice clean theme. I like that the search widget on this one is right above the header. Um, don't like the way it suddenly squashes the, the website. It's, it's not using all of the, it's just not as wide um, as the other one. So this kind of looks a little shrunk to me, uh, but I do like that, but I'm not crazy about this layout now. So now it doesn't have all my blogs on the homepage like the other one did. Um, I don't think the IDX looks as large as pretty. So this isn't one of my favorite themes. Um, let's look at neighborhoods so you can see what that looks like in case you do choose this one. So now we have a left-hand column instead of a right-hand column. All right, and then um, let's look at one of the one of the pages. 
yeah, just not crazy about this one at all, personally. And then blog. And I think that, let's look at this one. Yeah, that one looks okay. Okay, so now that's, what theme was that one? That was the, uh, that was Franklin. Now we'll go ahead and look at Phoenix. Let's go ahead and apply that one. Okay, uh, I don't care for the font at all on this one myself. However, you might, so it's, it's all about preference. Um, I don't like that this doesn't have a search widget above the fold. Um, and the blogs are above the IDX. I don't think I would do that on my own preferences. And then we have Las Vegas neighborhoods. That one looks okay. Um, let's see how they look. By the way, this little sideshow here is something that I added. It's not a natural part of the of the Playstore sites that we get. I was playing around with my IDX broker search widgets to see if my slideshows would work, and it and it does. And from what I can tell, Playstore does work with other IDX providers besides the given one, so it makes sense that it would work. Uh, but that's just not a, that's not a standard on there. It's not part of this special theme or anything. So um, yeah, I still am not liking the way it's handling the neighborhood page personally. And then um, the blog sites. Yeah, so if you like that theme, that one was, unfortunately, this is another thing I don't like, is that we keep having to go back to the theme selection instead of it staying open for us. So it's extra, extra, extra steps when we're playing with this. Okay, so that was Phoenix. Now we're looking at uh, Sedona. That's kind of cool. I like this one. I like this look. It looks modern. Um, we don't have our slideshow anymore up top, so we have more. This can't be the home page. Is that really? The, oh, that was my blog page. No wonder. Okay. Um, again, this menu is only going to look good if you only have five buttons. We need to get rid of that button. So if you're going to have more buttons on your menu, this theme doesn't look doesn't look as good. Um, so I would go get rid of those. I do like that the search widget is above the fold. I love these icons, personally. Love that the, I've got everything I need up top. Beautiful IDX, and then we have the blog. So I really like that a lot. Um, not crazy about that footer, but... And then let's go look at the blog. Okay, so there's the layout. That looks good to me. Blog looks fine. Let's look at neighborhoods. That looks good. And let's look at the actual neighborhood itself. Interesting. That one doesn't look like it had the, one of them had some, had, had, um, oh, I just didn't have any other listings showing up, I guess, yet in there. Okay, so there's that one. So this one I kind of like. I would go back and play with it. I would get rid of one of these buttons, which I'm going to do that anyway. But I kind of like this one. This one's nice and it's clean. I'd have to play with it a little bit more and see if there's anything else that I don't like about it. Going back to the home page, I really like that the search widget's up here. That's just a direct call, of act, call to action. I love it. I think that's exactly the way it should be. Um, and that was the Sedona theme. Then the sixth theme we have is called Toronto. So I'll go ahead and do that one. Okay, I like this one too. Um, it's got kind of an old school feel to it to me, the way it's kind of boxy, like the older websites. Yet I love these social media icons. The calls to action are on the top. The menu looks good, minus one of those buttons, like I said. Uh, the search widget looks beautiful. And then the slideshow, love that, love, love, love. Um, the only difference, if I were to change anything, I would put this on top of this so that you still have your Vegas slideshow up here or your, your picture here, and then you have that right across the top. That'd be the only thing I'd change about this. Ooh, I really like this home page. I really like this. This one's growing on me, uh, nice and clean. Okay, so let's take a look at the blog. And that looks great. 
I love how this one seems to be larger, more legible, um, easy. I don't know, clear to navigate. I like this one too. And then I'm going to go to Las Vegas neighborhoods. Let's take a look at that one. Great, beautiful, looks good. It's crisp. I don't know. I just really like this. I like this colors, this colors too. Okay, so that's a good one. I like that one. That one is uh, Toronto. And then, uh, then we have the standard Keller Williams one that everybody seems to be using, and this is the Madison. And from what I understand, I, I believe somebody told me the Madison was only a Keller Williams theme, but don't quote me on that. I'm, I know I'm putting it on video. I'm not really sure. I, I'd have to verify. And so let's look at what that one looks like. Okay, so I don't care for the home page near as much, but I love the footer. See, I want to take this piece from this theme and this piece from this theme and this piece from this theme. So my company, my marketing company, Ballon Brands, is talking to Playster now about becoming a developer so that we can unlock the back end and design our own, you know, set it up for you and put the extra codes on it and do all the extras that we do for, um, like with the Ballon Method, the, the online marketing course that I have where I teach and train you how to generate leads. Um, I would love to be able to make sure that you have Ballon Method friendly websites completely, whether you're using a brew, one of the websites my company's built, built or you're hiring us to build out your placer site. I want to get in that back end and be able to, to, to take what we like from this and what we don't like, you know, take what we like, we each want to make our own theme. Okay. So we're shooting for that, but I don't care for this one so much. Um, there's the blog. Let's look at the blog. This I love. See, there we go. I really like the blog laying out in, oh, ugh. Um, I like the way the blog was laying out, but I don't like this. It's the image is all stretched out. So it looks like your featured image. Maybe the featured image has to be a 1600 by 660 to get that, um, to not be all stretched looking because that looks terrible. So that's, that's probably the case. I would probably have to go back and adjust the featured image. So the header would look right, but I do like these big, this is my favorite way to display a blog. These big, big pictures and buttons and call. I love that. Okay. So then we have, um, I think we have one more. Yes, and then we have Madison Metro, and we will save this one, and we'll take a look at that as our final theme example today. Now, I don't know what the differences are between Madison and Madison Metro. Let's go to the home page. Okay, so yeah, it changed the header a little bit. It changed, looks like it changed where, how the slideshow and widget works, which I'm not crazy about at all. Um, yep, it changed that. Let's go look at the blog again. That's the same layout. Yeah, same layout there in the Las Vegas neighborhoods. That looks great, love that. This is my favorite neighborhood page here, the way it does these. So as you can see, there's going to be things that you like um, and of course you'll have different preferences than I will. I look at things as a user experience and, and probably for my own, uh, obviously, uh, my own preferences on how a website should look aesthetically. So you choose what, what works for you. And, um, this just gives you a way to go in and choose those multiple themes. So keep going through this series with us, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lori Ballen. If you subscribe to that YouTube channel, there's a place or playlist in there. And you'll be, as I go through each piece of the setup and on, on maximizing the site and the slideshows and the neighborhood pages and everything that we do, I'll be continuing to build onto this, uh, the series that already has multiple, multiple videos in it and head on over to the method.com. If you're interested in learning more on how to generate massive quantities of leads and dominate your market, uh, through online real estate marketing strategies. And if you do need to get some real estate content, you want to look at keyword research, pull some competitor reports, you'd like pay-per-click services, you need a website, that would be my marketing company at balanbrands.com. And I do have a real estate business here in Nevada. We also have partners in California, uh, Washington, Southern California, and are expanding to other areas now. So we would appreciate your referrals very, very much. And you can just look up Balan Network and um and find me on facebook and we, we would love to connect with you for 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 business and for networking in the near future thank you so much for joining me today